In today's video, we're going to show you how to install your new or new to you dishwasher in your kitchen. We're going to be doing a little bit of electrical as well as a little bit of plumbing. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do in beginning to do the installation is actually take the dishwasher and put it into the opening that it's going to in your kitchen cabinets. The idea of doing this is so that we can get it level and square with the cabinet. It's a lot easier to do it now than when you've got your plumbing and your electrical hooked up. So we'll just slip it into the hole and see what adjustments we have to make. So this installation worked out really well. It's nice and square in the cabinet. It's level with the countertop. Dishwasher solid. If it was rocking, I would have to adjust the leveling leg in order to get it so it's firmly on the floor. And there's nothing more I have to do as far as left or right because I'm perfectly square with my cabinet. So our next step in the installation is preparing the electrical. Now I've already gone to the fuse panel and double checked to make sure that the breaker that says dishwasher is turned off. But experience has taught me that you can't always believe what the electrician wrote on your panel. So I like to take a little load tester that tells me if there's voltage and just double check the wire and make sure that there's not a live circuit. If it had been a live circuit, it'd be doing this. And now that we know that the power is off, we're going to continue on with the installation. So every electrical connection where you have a piece of house wiring attaching to a box or an appliance, there has to be some form of strain relief. And in this case, it's a connector. So I'm just going to slide that connector over onto my wire now. I'll be using it later. I'm just going to take my knife Separate my wires. I'll bring my connector back up at this point and I'll take my screwdriver and tighten it up. So our electrical is now ready. We can set this aside for now and move on to the plumbing. Okay, so now let's get under the sink and find our connections for the dishwasher. You also see that this was originally roughed in for a dishwasher because it has our drain spigot here. Now one thing you want to watch when you go to make your connection is sometimes there's actually a piece of plastic inside blocking this and the plumbers don't remove it if there's no dishwasher to go on so we'll have to knock that out. So now it's one of my favorite parts, drilling holes. So we need to provide access for our uh, drain line and fill line to go through the cabinet to the dishwasher. To do that I'm just using an inch and a half drill bit and just going to drill a hole right through the cabinet. So now that the hole is drilled uh, of course, it makes a little bit of sawdust inside and outside of the cabinet. So I'm just going to grab my shop vac and quickly pick that up now so that the job site's a lot cleaner. So now we've got the job site cleaned up. It's time to start making our actual connections to the dishwasher. So I'm just going to bring the dishwasher in close, lay it on its back. So now I'm just going to take the nut off the connector for the electrical. Slide our wires up into the box of the dishwasher. Put the nut back on. I'll just take my channel lock pliers to tighten that nut. The next step we're going to do, we're going to feed our ground wire and we're going to wrap it around underneath this clamp, the screw. You always wrap it around in the direction that the screw is tightening and make that connection good and tight. So we're just going to connect our hotline, our black wires, put both ends up into the marette and screw the marette tight. And then we do the same thing with the neutral. There we go. Tuck them down into the junction box so they're nice and tight. And we can put the cover on. And we just put the screw in place to hold that cover. And your electrical is complete. So we're going to do our water fill line now. You always want to use a Breda stainless steel hose. And most kits come with two types of fittings for connecting to the dishwasher. Either this style of elbow or this kind of thread-on garden hose type connection. In this case, the valve requires we use the garden hose connection. Now you can just thread your hose on like any regular garden style hose. And you'll want to tighten that up good and tight. So this dishwasher comes with an extension hose. So you do have to make that connection here just beside your dishwasher. So you just insert the hose into the one that's attached to your dishwasher, put the clamp on it, and you're done and ready to hook it up to the sink. So now that all our connections are made in the dishwasher, all we need to do is take our hoses, fish them through the hole we drilled, and then we'll make our connections under the sink. So now with our hoses fished through the cabinet, we're just going to slide the dishwasher into the opening and at the same time pull the hoses through so nothing kinks. So now we're just going to connect our fill line. 
So by threading our braided hose onto the valve and then tighten it up. We can turn on the valve and it'll pressurize the line. Now we just need to connect our drain hose. And your connections are complete. And the best news is you're ready to do dishes. Thank you for joining us today for the installation of a dishwasher. It's our hope that the tips we've showed you will make your installation very easy.